welcome back to Caitlin Goes Hiking. It is the final countdown for my Appalachian Trail southbound through hike. I will be leaving actually tomorrow morning. So by the time you guys see this video, I will be on my way to Maine. Today I'm going to be sharing my final gear list of the things I'm going to be bringing with me on my through hike. Let's go! Okay, we're going to start with my sleep system. I am a hammock camper. I will be using a hammock on the Appalachian Trail and all of my hammock gear is from hammock gear. So I have my netted hammock from hammock gear along with my daisy chain uh, tree straps and my Dyneema tarp here. Some tent stakes. I have six tent stakes in here and these are from Z-Pack. And to go underneath my hammock to keep me warm at night is my underquilt, also from Hammock Gear. It's a 20 degree, three quarter length underquilt that uh, it goes from my shoulders to just about my ankles. Next is my butt pad that I will also be using as insulation for the rest of my body parts that don't go on, on top of the underquilt. Here is a, it's from Mountain Laurel Design an eighth inch foam pad and this is also to use if there's any sort of failure where I cannot hang my hammock any nights I at least have something to be comfy on the ground nothing I won't be comfortable but at least I won't be sleeping on the hard ground and this is also my butt pad next is my pillow it's the ultralight pillow from outdoor vitals pretty self-explanatory you sleep on it keeps your head nice and comfy and underneath all of this is my top quilt. It's an Enlightened Equipment Revelation 20 degree in purple and red. Aren't the colors so fun? To put all of my quilts and my bed stuff in, I'm going to be using this stuff sack from Z-Pax. And it will keep all of my stuff extra protected from any wet rain stuff. I do also use a liner in my backpack, but I do like to have a little extra double protection so there's no chance that any of my stuff will get wet. Moving on to my clothes. I have my bed clothes and my hiking clothes. To sleep in at night, I have some merino leggings along with a long sleeve shirt. Simple, nothing crazy. Bless you, Loki. And then I have a pair of darn tough socks that will be solely for sleeping. To hike in, I'll be using some Nike, just regular old running shorts from Nike. And then I have two options for shirts. Because I will be going to Maine at the beginning of June, it is prime black fly season. And they love to attack face and upper body. So to hike in during those prime black, black fly times, I brought a long sleeve shirt. Also, I've read that black flies do not like bright colors. They prefer dark colors because they resemble the kinds of animals they like to snack on. So I have a bright long sleeve shirt that I can wear during crazy black fly times. And then I have a short sleeve option as well. Just a pink shirt. If you've seen my videos in the past, I'm always wearing this. It's great. It works wonderful. It's never failed me. And it's bright and colorful. And then finally, I have my hat and my buff. And then finally, my socks. I have two pairs of rainbow tie-dye and gingy toe socks. If you haven't noticed, I like colors. Uh, it makes me happy and it's I'm just a dream for any search and rescue people trying to look for me. Next is my puffy jacket. This is a Decathlon 4 Class 100 puffy jacket. It's a really great price and it does the job. Then I have my rain gear. This is the Outdoor Helium 2 Rain Jacket. And then I have a rain skirt from Enlightened Equipment. For the shoes I'll be hiking in, these are Hoka 1-1 Speed Goats. I highly recommend them. I went from ultras to speed goats and I have not looked back, along with some inserts that I've put in instead of the manufacturing insoles. And then my famous, of course, my glitter Crocs are coming with me. Can't not take my Crocs. These are great for camp shoes, for water crossings, especially in Maine, and to just be happy because of course they're coming with me. Next, what am I gonna put all this stuff in? Here is my backpack. It's a Z-Packs Arc Haul. And I have some little attachments to it. I've gotten a couple of the um, add-on options. I have a side pocket up here that I've added on. 
along with a couple additions I've made myself. I got a hang tag because originally they have not been giving these out this year, so I got my own made. However, the ATC has started giving out the hiker tags. So when I get to Monson, Maine, I will also be getting a hiker tag from the ATC center up there. I've also got my hand sanitizer. It's also fun, you know, everything I have is colorful and fun. It's a dinosaur with, you know, a hand sanitizer. And I have a couple binder clips here that I can use to hang anything off of that needs to dry out or anything that needs to strap onto my pack. And then if you notice, I don't have any hip belt pockets for my backpack. I don't really like hip belt pockets. They don't really work and I've never found any that actually work with one hand and are easy to access. I much prefer to use a fanny pack. So this is a fanny pack from Light AF and it's fun, the colors are great. It's Dyneema, so you know I don't have to worry as much about things getting wet. And it is the absolute perfect size for the things that I like to carry in my fanny pack. Next, I'm gonna show you my trail kitchen. Starting with water, uh, I will be beginning in Maine, so there is a ton of water. I don't need to bring a lot of water. I will have a one liter smart water bottle with the Sawyer filter, a flip top cap, and an aqua clip on it. And I'll also bring a Gatorade bottle for my water and drink mixes. I like to do protein shakes on trail. I like to do the propels. I like to do all sorts of drink mixes. And this makes it a lot easier because it has the wide top. And along with that, for my protein shakes, I got a little mini shaker ball to go in here to help so that the protein doesn't get all clumped up. Now for food, here is my pot. This is the Ever New Titanium Pasta Pot. It's one liter, it's great, it has a strainer. It's really light and I really enjoy that the top snaps on. You don't have to worry about it going anywhere. You also don't, because with my other pot, it didn't snap on, I had to bring a rubber band. It was a pain, I lost it a couple times. This, I don't have to keep track of anything else. I also like to keep a hanky in here, a little uh, bandana, so that none of my extra things like my fuel, my stove, my lighter are banging around while I'm hiking. Clank, 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 clank. It gets annoying after a while, so I've got this in here to keep everything together, and I can also use this to wipe my face, clean the pot, anything that needs to happen. Next is my stove. Here is my BRS cheap Amazon 15 buck stove. It serves its purpose, it does its job, it's great, it's teeny tiny. Next, my spork, self-explanatory, long handled, Bic lighter. Then I have an empty mountain house uh, bag that I use for my, uh, my freezer bag, cooking, eating situation. Using this instead of cooking in my pot will help keep things clean. It's also insulated versus using just a regular Ziploc bag and it also um, won't burn my hands as opposed to a Ziploc bag. To store my food in, I am using, oh, I also have a funnel to use for my drink mixes and my Gatorade bottle. Okay, to carry all my food in and store all my food, I will be using an Ursac paired with two Smelly Proof bags. I like these versus the Opsac because the top is a lot easier to close. So I've made the switch to these and I really, really enjoy them. And my Ursac. Much easier than hanging a bear line, much preferred. Okay, so that is my kitchen. All right, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. Next we have my trekking poles. I'll tell you guys, this is the only piece of my original backpacking setup that I have not replaced or upgraded. I have used these since I first started backpacking and I'm still so incredibly happy with them. Trail Buddies from Amazon, they're really cheap, like 35 bucks, and they come in a bajillion different colors. These are wonderful, and they're so sturdy. I've never had any concerns about them bending or snapping or breaking. Next, I have my poop kit. Got my trowel, and I've I, uh, got my wipes. I don't use TP on trail, and then I have some little mini Ziploc bags in there to store the used wipes. Next is my ditty bag. Inside of here I've got all sorts of goodies. This has my first aid, it has my hygiene, it has all the things that I'll be needing. I have a bunch of different medications, repair tape, uh, needle and floss, Luco tape, comb, just anything that you can think of that I might be needing on trail. These will go in my ditty bag as well, as well as on the outside of my pack. 
but I wanted to point these out. I have a head net. This is really important for black fly season because black flies love to coagulate around your face, your head, and your upper body. So having a head net looks ridiculous, but it is wonderful and it'll help keep the black flies from annoying the mess out of you. Next, I got some gold bond for the thigh chafe. Some sunscreen to make my mama happy. Bug spray and chapstick. Next, I have my personal protection section of my gear. I wear a neck knife. It folds up to be a dog tag and then it just opens up. And this bad boy is sharp. It's great for opening things that need to be opened, cutting. I've cut uh, guy lines with this and it really makes me feel safe. And then I have a handheld pepper spray holder. So it holds on to your hand like this, however you want to hold it. And it's right there if you ever need to pepper spray a person or a bear or any other critter that's coming after you. Finally, we have the electronics portion of my gear. First, we have an Anchor 20,000 milliamp. If you um, think that's too much, it works for me, especially at the beginning. My first, uh, my first stretch of trail will be 115 miles before I can get to a town, and I want to be able to have all of my things charged no matter what. If I wanna switch it out for a smaller one later, I might, but for now, 20,000 works for me. I love listening to podcasts, music, and even watching movies while I'm trying to go to sleep in my hammock. Then I have a two port quick charging plug to plug it up real quick. And then all the plugs that I need, I've got my iPhone charger, my Garmin charger, and then I have my micro USB, which does all the little gadgets over here. Next, my headlamp. This is the Petzl Bendy headlamp. Next is my Garmin InReach Mini. This was a gift from my mom. Uh, so when I'm on trail, if I don't have signal, I can text my mom, text my boyfriend, and even if I don't have signal, I will be able to have contact. And also the SOS button is great for some peace of mind. Then I have my wireless headphones, my little purple doodads. If you've seen orange things in my ears in the past, I also have an orange pair, but I wanna bring the purple one. Next, I have my Garmin Instinct Solar. I'll be wearing this. Uh, it is solar powered. I did bring the charger for it. However, I do like to use the tracking, uh, the tracking component of it, and that does wear out the battery. Even with the solar charging, it does wear out the battery, so I will be bringing the charger. And there you go. This is what I'm bringing on my Appalachian Trail southbound through hike. I have posted the lighter pack link in the description below so you guys can see details and specific weights of the items that I'm bringing. By the time you guys see this video, I'll probably be already up in Maine getting ready to start my through hike. As I already mentioned, my first stop is going to be in Monson, Maine, which is 115 miles. And I'm expecting to take about 10 days to get there. So even though you guys probably know my start date is June 1st, you probably won't see any videos until at least June 10th. That'll be my first time that I can get to some Wi-Fi and upload some videos for you guys. So keep an eye out, and that's what you can expect for my trail videos. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. The next time you see me, I'll be in Maine. See you soon. Bye.